Hello world, this is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm showing you guys how to explore files in a restore point. Now, if you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about in a restore point, if you type in restore, you will find restore points. Restore points are basically little files or little little things that Windows uses to reverse things that you have done. So as you see here, I have a Windows update that took place yesterday. So I, if I really wanted, I could go back in time basically and it will unaffect my documents, stuff like that. But it will change my system files. This is also useful for viruses, stuff like that. And then you can scan for affected programs. Now let's say you want to view files in here. Well, you by default you just can't do that. I want to show you guys how to do that. You need to download this program called System Restore Explorer. I've already downloaded it and right, I have the setup file right here. So you need to install it and then basically do what I do. So just accept the license agreement and install. So what this program basically does is it allows you to mount a restore point into your C drive or your default Windows drive. Now if you don't know what mounting is, it basically it's like taking a file and like putting it in a D in an area for a certain amount of time. Like it, it may not even be real sometimes. If you mount a CD, it may not be always real, but it almost like confuses the computer sometimes. So what this program will do though is it will mount it so that way you can actually go through all the files and you can see it. And then when you're done, you can hit unmount or you can just exit the program and delete the whole folder. So here we go. We're got the install going. Okay, so now we're going to launch it. Okay, so as you see, by, de by default it had um, hide restore points created in the last five days. So I'm just going to I'm going to create a or mount a very old one. So I'll just pick this one, which happened about five days ago. I'm going to click it once, and as you see, I have two options right now, to mount and delete. So I'm going to click mount. And it looks like it hits and mounted. And by default, it's going to open up the folder. So, as you see, there it is. It has mounted right here. So if I go through here, I can see all, basically, it is mounted my Windows folder. So I can see all the programs that I had back in this one. They're pretty much the same, but it's, this is a really cool thing because let's say I deleted um, Rocky Duck, okay? I deleted Rocky Duck, and then today, you know, I just said, you know, I really want it back. I can go back in time, I can see go back to this restore point and bring Rocket back Rocket Dock back from the past, basically into the future. So that's really cool. And then once you're done with it, you just need to you all you have to do is this. Click it again and hit unmount. Give it a couple seconds. And then also another feature from this program is the ability to delete restore points. So let's say you got this super old one and it's just taking up space on your computer. You can hit delete and just completely remove it. Not responding. <laughs> okay, and then there we go. All done. So then I'll show you. So let's say I want this one right here. I can hit delete. And say, are you sure I want you to remove this from the system? Yes. And 
and then that's it. That's all you gotta do. So that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys like it and uh, subscribe for more tutorials and tweaks and stuff like that. And have a nice day. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.